गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस सेशन वी स्टडी अबाउट द होमोनिम्स राइट एंड दीज आर कॉमनली कंफ्यूज वर्ड्स इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज दे सीम्स टू बी सेम राइट बट देर इज ए डिफरेंस इन देयर मीनिंग एज वेल एज इन द यूसेज ऑफ दिस वर्ड्स दिस सेशन इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गोइंग फॉर गवर्नमेंट जॉब एग्जामिनेशन एस एस सी बैंकिंग रेलवेज एज वेल एज एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन वेरिंग फ्रॉम एम बी एंट्रेंस टू गवर्नमेंट जॉब एग्जामिनेशन फॉर मोर वीडियोज यू मे लॉग इन टू माई वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट दिनेश मिगलानी डॉट कॉम और माई फेसबुक पेज दिनेश मिगलानी ट्यूटोरियल्स फॉर कॉन्टेक्टिंग मी यू मे टॉक टू मी मै एट माई नंबर जीरो नाइन टू वन डबल फाइव वन डबल फोर थ्री फाइव और माई ई मेल आई डी लीगल बडी एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम my youtube channel for regular updates of my videos that is dinesh viglani tutorials on the youtube i expect from you to share my videos on your facebook wall as well as with your friends so that your friends will also be benefited by this let us start with this session that is our session number 1 right let us start with the session first of all we have two words accept and accept right when we talk about accept that means opposite of reject or we can say to receive something or to promise to pay something right so generally we say that he accepted me okay so that is some uh, that simply means to receive right or that is opposite to reject the second one is accept that means living out right jaise hum kehte hain ki hame i hate all the student except him right it means i hate all the student except that a particular person Living out that person, okay. So that is the meaning of accept and accept. Uh, let's have the two sentences here, and we have to fill uh, which is the actual, right? The first sentence is she has my invitation to visit my house, right? When we give an invitation to someone, it means either that person will accept or reject, right? So here we can say that she has accepted my invitation to visit my house, right? All were present in the class, Rita. It means that is except. All students were present in the class except Rita. It means all students are there and Rita was not there, right? So here we can say in the first blank we have to fill accepted. In the second we have to fill except, right? The second one is affect and effect, right? Affect affect means to act upon, right? To affect something. that is a verb affect is basically a verb right and the second one is effect effect is the result of something right if some person has done a work what is the effect of that the what is the result of that that is said to be effect right uh, the murderer madness in the court right when we talk about the murderer madness in the court right it means that that deals with a verb right so there we have to take it affected the murder affected madness in the court right her advice had no effect on him her advice had no effect on him right so here we can say that here we have to put effect and that is affected next assess and access assess is to approach right to reach that is assess and excess excess means extreme or excessive amount jo jada amount hota hai usko kya kehte hain excess e x e double s right uh, and ordinary man has no access to the prime minister right means has no approach to the prime minister ek ordinary aadmi ki prime minister tak koi pahunch nahi hoti has not access to prime minister right next one is it is fact that Excess of everything is bad. That's a uh, common proverb that simply talks about that. Excess of everything is bad. It is a fact that excess of everything is bad, or we can say that extreme of everything is bad, right? So here in the first we have to put excess, and the second we have to put excess, right? Next one is adapt and adapt. First one is adapt. Adapt means to adjust. To adjust yourself. with the new circumstances with the new environment with the new conditions right so that is taken as adapt right adapt a d e p t adapt means very skilled person or ex expert person right or you may call him uh, proficient okay let's have the first sentence here we must ourselves to the change circumstances 
दैट इज वी मस्ट अडेप्ट अवर सेल्फ वी मस्ट अडेप्ट अवर सेल्फ टू द चेंज सर्कमस्टांसिस राइट वी मस्ट एडजस्ट अवर सेल्फ विद द चेंज सर्कमस्टांसिस तो हेयर इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस वी हैव टू फिल अडेप्ट मोहम्मद रफी वाज एन इन द आर्ट ऑफ सिंगिंग राइट इट मींस वाज वेरी स्किल्ड इन द आर्ट ऑफ सिंगिंग इट मींस हेयर वी हैव टू फिल मोहम्मद रफी वाज अडेप्ट इन द आर्ट ऑफ सिंगिंग राइट तो हेयर वी कैन से एट फर्स्ट प्लेस वी हैव टू पुट अडेप्ट ए डी ए पी टी एंड हेयर वी हैव टू पुट अडेप्ट ए डी ई पी टी नेक्स्ट वी हैव ऑल्टर एंड आल्टर राइट ऑल्टर मीन्स टू चेंज दैट वर्ड इज यूज फॉर टू चेंज राइट ऑल्टर ए एल टी ए आर इट्स एन एलिवेटेड प्लेस एट विच रिलीजियस राइट्स आर परफॉर्म राइट ऑल्टर इज बेसिकली इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज वी कॉल दिस वर्ड एज बेदी जहां आप काफी ज्यादा जो धार्मिक तरह की चीजें करते हैं बैठकर तो दैट इज सेट टू बी ऑल्टर राइट आई कैनोट माई अ डिसीजन राइट इट मीन्स आई कैनोट चेंज माई अ डिसीजन हेयर आई कैन से दैट आई कैनोट ऑल्टर माई डिसीजन राइट we shall make an offering at the altar because when we talking about to giving uh, when we are talking about to give an offering that means that that is a sort of a religious rite okay and for that we must have a place that place is basically taken as altar a l t a r okay so that is altar a l t e r that is to change and uh, here we have to take altar a l t a r right next word we have abject and object you all know the meaning of the term object that is aim or purpose right we generally call it as aim and objectives right so that is aim or purpose abject abject means utterly hopeless right or you may take it as very humiliating situation or rest situation right means jahan bahut hi zyada nirasha puran kaam ho abject काफी ज्यादा जनरली इसको पॉवर्टी के सेंस में यूज करते हैं एब्जेक्ट पॉवर्टी मीन्स एक्सट्रीम पॉवर्टी राइट देयर वी टॉक इट एज एक्सट्रीम इन सॉर्ट ऑफ द नेगेटिव सेंस राइट द ओल्ड विंडो द ओल्ड विडो इज लिविंग इन पॉवर्टी दैट इज एब्जेक्ट पॉवर्टी द ओल्ड विडो लिविंग इन एब्जेक्ट पॉवर्टी इट मीन्स एक्सट्रीम पॉवर्टी सिचुएशन इज देयर राइट तो जनरली दैट वर्ड इज यूज विद पॉवर्टी एब्जेक्ट पॉवर्टी राइट you must explain your clearly object why you are talking what's your purpose you have to explain that here we can say the word that we have to use that is said to be object next is amiable right and amicable when we talk about amicable means agreeable right amicable that deals with agreeable right amiable means having or showing a friendly at this position so we when we talk about amiable that word is basically used for friendly that word is basically used for friendly right so what we can say anju is a amiable person anju is a amiable person right both of us must come to an amicable agreement amicable agreement means where both are agreed for the same thing right so in english language we have a very famous proverb where or we may call it as a a word from foreign language consensus consensus ad idem right that simply means agreement on a particular thing when mind of the both person are at the same right so here we can say that both of the person both of you must come to an amicable agreement here right next one is bear and bear bear means to endure right kis cheez ko sehna that is to bear 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 means naked bear fitted means nange pair right the bear means naked okay she cannot this insult when we talk about the insult insult has to be borne ya yeah, insult has to be be uh, borne right so here can here we can say that she cannot bear this insult इस इंसल्ट को वो सह नहीं सकी द पुअर मैन वॉज वॉकिंग बेयर फुटेड द पुअर मैन वॉज वॉकिंग बेयर फुटेड राइट तो बेयर यू नो दैट बेयर मीन्स नंगे पैर राइट तो बेयर फुटेड नंगे पैर राइट तो बेयर मीन्स नेक्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज बर्थ बीई आर टी एच एंड बर्थ बी आई आर टी एच वेन वी टॉक अबाउट बर्थ बीई आर टी एच दैट इज द स्लीपिंग प्लेस इन ए ट्रेन राइट वेन यू आर वेन यू आर बोर्डिंग ए ट्रेन दैट इज द स्लीपिंग प्लेस 
birth b i r t h that is to give birth to a child okay so when we say she has got her birth reserved she has got her birth reserved in the punjab mail right meena has given birth b i r t h to a son bridal and bridal bridal b r i d a l that belongs to a bride right belongs to a marriage you know that bride groom and bride right so bride groom is dula and bride is adulan right so we may call it as bridal so we have this a uh, bride and bride groom right she is female okay and male bride groom right so anything that is bridal means anything that belongs to the bride right or belongs to the marriage bridal b r i d l e head gear ho of a horse right jisko hum kya kehte hain lagam that is basically taken as lagam right head gear of a horse okay so rita was looking beautiful in her bridal dress b r i d a l right she was looking very beautiful in her bridal dress nobody can control a horse without a bridal without a bridal because why we are using the term here bridal the reason behind it that the bridal means head gear of a horse right b r i d l e next is bail b a i l right bail is security for a prisoner reappearance jisko hum kya kehte hain general language mein zamanat right uh, bail b a l e that is a package of goods right when you uh, collect some goods and made a package of that that is called as bail b a l e her brother has been released on bail b a i l right he was he is released on security that he will again reappear when he is called ram has purchased 10 bales 10 bale of cotton right what we can say that the word here is bale b a l e right so we can say that ram has purchased 10 bales of cotton right that is b a l e s next is blunder and error right although both are uh, considered as a mistake but when we talk about the blunder that is a stupid mistake right that is not expected from a person error means a small deviation a deviation from accuracy or correctness right so there is a difference on uh, when we talk about the error at a extreme sense that is said to be blunder is a, a stupid mistake that is not expected from the person and error is a deviation from accuracy or correctness okay she had made a by selling his house here we cannot say error she has made he has made a blunder he has made a blunder by selling his house right a minor typing error can change the meaning of the whole sentence right a minor typing error can change the meaning of the whole sentence so here we can say he has made a blunder means that is a very stupid uh, mistake by selling his house a minor typing error can change the meaning of the whole sentence right the next sentence we have next word we have that is uh, beneficial and beneficent right beneficial advantageous you know about the meaning of uh, you know about benefit so benefit means advantage or profit right so here we can say when we say beneficial that is advantageous and beneficent beneficent means doing good right daily exercise in the morning is beneficial to health daily exercise in the morning is beneficial to health okay ashoka the great was great ruler ashoka the great we know that ashoka the great was a beneficent king beneficent king meant he is a king of so such type that always does good for the other person right so beneficent means a person who does good right so beneficent is generally taken as an adjective for a person who does good for the others benefit means doing good beside and besides right beside means by or at the side of right and this besides means furthermore or moreover when we say beside right to so beside ko hum kehte hain jo saath mein hai beside two person are sitting so we can say he is sitting beside me right and besides atirikt extra or we can call it as moreover the children should not play beside the road the should not the children should not play beside the road because when we when they play beside the road 
there are chances of their accident right uh, giving house to his younger brother he gave his monetary help to start his business it means uh, one person has given house to his brother as well as he has given some monetary help so that his brother may start his business so what we can say that besides giving monet besides giving house to his younger brother he also gave him monetary help to start his business means uh, apne younger brother ko ghar dene ke alawa ke atirikt he has also given monetary help to start his business right so here this is beside and this is besides next one is canvas and canvas when we talk about canvas right canvas is a closely woven heavy cloth of hemp flax or cotton right so generally uh, you may call uh, when you have to go for a making a painting that is a canvas painting right uh, canvas is to solicit votes or opinions the canvas is basically used jab aap vote mangte hain iske liye special word use kiya jata hai canvassing right and uh, the children is wearing canvas shoes right kapde ke shoes hai uske jo kafi heavy kapda hai right the rival candidates are canvassing c a n v a double s i n g canvassing votes in the elections right so there is a difference between these two c a n v a s when you have a single s that deals with a closely woven heavy cloth right and when we talk about double s c a n v a double s that is to ask for votes that is taken as canvassing right so, so that word is basically used during elections canvassing right next one is compliment and compliment there is the only difference of this i right when we say compliment an expression of praise commendation or admiration admiration right so generally we we can say that when you admire someone right it means you are giving compliment to that person that second is compliment right uh, either of two constituting a whole or counterpart right that deals with in mathematics complementary angle right complementary angle means that is uh, suppose uh, someone is there right and he cannot uh, uh, he he cannot do as for example we can say a driver and conductor both are complementary because uh, for moving a bus we require both driver as well as conductor right so that word is basically used as complement right either of the two parts please pay my best compliments to your mother that deals with best compliment c o m p l i m e n t s right so please pay best compliments to your mother right an angle of 30 degree is complimentary that is complimentary c o m p l e m e n t r y right because here we know that complement angles are those where sum of the angles is equal to 90 degree right so here what i can say that angle of 30 degree is complementary of angle of 60 degree right so there is a difference of i and e i is used for praise complimentary and complimentary l e that is either of the two parts next one is corporal and corporeal right when we have this word corporal corporal means it basically means with uh, human body right uh, generally that is used as corporal punishment that word is basically used as corporal punishment right as it means punishing of a student of a person on his uh, human body right corporeal corporeal means physical right so when we talk about corporal punishment has been banned in the school right it means that we cannot give any person a corporal punishment a physical punishment we cannot give so that is basically taken as corporal punishment right angles have no corporeal existence right angle has angle has no corporeal existence that means that angels uh, that is angels the angels means devdoot right angels have no corporeal corporeal existence right it means that uh, uh, when we talk about the angels who have come from the uh, heavenly bodies so they don't have any uh, physical existence right so corporeal that is of human body and corporeal that is of physical right next one is credible creditable and credulous when we talk about credible credible means believable right that thing which can be believed that is credible right sometime uh, that deals with the credible sources i have got some information from credible sources it means that i have got the information from that sources from where on which i can believe right next one is creditable 
creditable means a deserving credit or owner right means someone has that much of uh, owner or reputation so for that we use the word creditable credulous gullible or we can say that who can be easily duped who can easily duped or we can call him as who can easily who e who can easily uh, believe one another right who can easily who easily believe one another who easily believe on other राइट तो जल्दी से दूसरों की बातों पर विश्वास कर लेता है दैट इज सेड टू बी क्रेडिबल राइट तो हैव वी हैव आवर थ्री वर्ड्स हियर राइट द फर्स्ट वन इज क्रेडिबल दैट इज अ बिलीवेबल नेक्स्ट वन इज क्रेडिटेबल मींस अ डिजर्विंग ओनर और क्रेडिट नेक्स्ट वन इज द क्रेडुलस दैट इज हु कैन बी इजीली ड्यूप्ड और हु कैन इजीली बिलीव ऑन अदर्स राइट हर स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट क्रेडिबल हर स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट क्रेडिबल व्हाई because that statement cannot be believed right so we can say that her statement is not credible okay it is a achievement because when we talk about achievement means something that deserves honor so it is a creditable achievement it is a creditable achievement it is a creditable achievement on his part to stand fast in the ba examination so here we can use the word creditable right next one is it is said that indian women are credulous by nature because indian women nature is of uh, that one that they can easily believe on other right so that's why we may call them indian women are credulous by nature means they easily believe on others right or they can be easily duped right so that is credible believable creditable deserving credit or reputation credulous gullible or we uh, who easily believe on others counsel and counsel there's a difference counsel is a, uh, an advice right opinion or advisor so generally as a noun that is uh, used as an advocate means who is going to give advice or we can call him as advisor right and counsel c o u n c l it is an assembly of persons or representative right so when we talk about usa usa is a permanent member of un of security council that is a council because that security council is a assembly of some persons or assembly of representative right here we use the word council mr saigal is the defense counsel in this case different uh, is is a defense counsel means that is that word is used for a person who gives advice and who gives advice that's an advocate or we can say lawyer so here we can say that that counsel word is also used for lawyer right so mr saigal is the defense counsel in this case discover and invent right when we consider a discover that is to have the knowledge of something that is previously unknown but it existed but it existed invent is something to produce or create something new which has not existed earlier so there is a difference between the discover and invent although both deals with to uh, create something or to produce something but the difference is that when we talk about the discover that is for that which does which exists earlier also and you just gain the knowledge of that which was earlier unknown right for example vasco de gama discovered india although india existed earlier but he discovered right and when we talk about invention inventions of einstein right means he invented those things which were not known or we can say those things which were not existed earlier but now they have been invented right so columbus discovered america columbus discovered america in 1492 right edison invented edison invented gramophone the reason here is that because gramophone was not existence earlier invented by edison right so he invented that he created the gramophone for the first time so here we use the word invented next one is dose and dose d o s e dose is a quantity of the medicine generally we talk about he has given me two days dose right he has means he has given me the medicine for two days right the quantity of the medicine prescribed to be taken at one time dose d o z e that is to sleep lightly fitfully or for a brief period right jisko hum oongna kehte hain hindi mein that is basically named as oongna in hindi language thode time ke liye dose right the doctor advised him to take care a dose of medicine thrice a day right 
the old person was dozing d o z i n g old person was dozing in the office right because here this particular word is used for to sleep lightly so that is dozing d o z i n g fair and fair right fair f a i r that deals with a periodical market right jisko mela keh dete hain fair fair is uh, the price charged for transporting a passenger kiraya right so there is a difference of i air f a i r that deals with a periodical market right and f a r e that deals with the price charged for transporting a passenger we want to see the fair we want to see the fair no chandi yesterday right we went to see the fair no chandi yesterday right i have paid the bus fare f a r e for you right so there is a difference between f a i r and f a r e next one is eligible and illegible when we say eligible means fit to be chosen or we can say that is said to be a desirable right eligible illegible illegible means which cannot readable which cannot be read that is said to be illegible right so she is eligible for the post of an is officer that is said to be eligible e l i g i b l e right means he is fit to be chosen right or we can say लायक जिसको हम क्या कह देते हैं लायक मीन जो उसके लिए लायक है दैट इज सेट टू बी एलिजिबल इलेजिबल जिसे हम पढ़ नहीं सकते नोट रीडेबल योर हैंड राइटिंग इज सो इलेजिबल आई एल एल ई जी आई बी एल ई इलेजिबल दैट नन कैन रेड इट नन कैन रीड इट दैट इज सेट टू बी इलेजिबल एमिनेंट एंड इमिनेंट एमिनेंट मीन्स डिस्टिंग राइट eminent personality eminent chief guest right imminent means soon happening impending that is going to be happen soon so here we use the word imminent right amarnath sagal is an eminent indian artist so here we use the word eminent right sachin tendulkar is an eminent sportsman so here we use the word eminent eminent means distinguished right his death is imminent imminent means sure to happen or soon happening imminent means that is going to be happen soon means some time the person is in critical situation so in that situation we can say that the death of the person is imminent that soon happening right that is said to be imminent elicit and elicit right elicit is to deduce or to draw out means to draw information from something that is said to be elicit to elaborate illicit unlawful or forbidden which is not uh, lawful because of point of the law we call it as unlawful right i could not elicit any information from him means i am not able to draw any information from him or deduce any information from him right he is engaged in trade of drug trafficking when we talk about the drug trafficking that is something that is illegal or unlawful so here we call this term as illicit i w l i c i t right so that is said to be he is engaged in illicit trade of drug trafficking so here the words is illicit next is facility and felicity there is a difference when we talk about facility the facility is something designed to serve a specific function right and felicity is great happiness the government has provided this facility only to the weaker section of the society means the government has provided some facilities some help so here we can say that the government has provided this facility so that is something designed to serve a specific function and the next one is one can find real felicity real felicity right real happiness in serving the poor and the destitute right so here we use the word felicity f e l i c i t y right next one is guilt and guilt guilt is overlaid with gold when we talk about overlaid with gold that is said to be guilt and there is also guilt right crime or sin okay so nobody likes jewelry nowadays nobody likes guilt jewelry means any jewelry that is overlaid with gold right she has accepted her guilt means whatever crime she has done whatever sin she has done she has accepted that crime right so we can say that she has accepted her guilt right and nobody likes guilt jewelry the jewelry overlaid with gold 
गोल एंड जोन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस गोल जी ओ ए एल राइट बाय मिस्टेक दैट है मैंशन एयर गोल जी ओ ए एल तो दैट इज बेसिकली डील्स विद अ डेस्टिनेशन गोल बेसिकली डील्स विद डेस्टिनेशन राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज जोल दैट इज द प्रिजन दैट इज बेसिकली जेल दैट इज बेसिकली जेल और वी मे कॉल इट एज प्रिजन राइट तो लेट एस हैव दिस वर्ड वी हैव ऑलरेडी ऑपर ऑन द अप साइड एवरी स्टूडेंट मस्ट हैव ए डेफिनेट गोल in his life every student must have a definite goal in his life and he was released from the jail today he was released from the jail today right so here we have this word goal next one is gamble and gamble gamble means to play for money by betting jisko hum kehte hain jua khelna gambling right so that is gamble right to play for money by betting gamble is basically playful or frolic right uh gambling is a bad habit here my word is gambling g a m b l i n g so we call it as gambling is a bad habit right the children were gambol in the garden children were gambol in the garden means children were in the playful situation in the garden they are very frolic in the garden right so that is said to be gambol g a m b o l next one is here and here that here is a small timid quadrupede H A R E and this hair H A I R that is dry filament growing on the skin जिसको हम क्या कहते हैं बाल कह देते हैं right that is H A I R that is called as uh, ball right and hair H A I R is small timid quadruped so I saw a white hair in the field basically uh, that is खरगोश that basically meaning is खरगोश इट्स एनिमल खरगोश राइट क्वार मीन हैविंग फोर लैक्स ओके सो दैट आई सा ए वाइट हेयर इन द फील्ड आई सा ए वाइट हेयर इन द फील्ड राइट हर हेयर इज ब्राउन हर हेयर इज ब्राउन राइट तो वी हैव टू वर्ड्स हेयर एच ए आर ई एंड एच ए आई आर वेन वी से एच ए आई आर तो दैट इज द स्मॉल ड्राई फिलामेंट ऑन द स्किन ऑफ एनिमल बॉडी और ह्यूमन बॉडी राइट दैट इज हेयर बाल and h a i r khargosh okay next one is hail and hail h a l e hail means healthy robust right and h a i l uh, to have as one's place of birth or residence means to belong to some place right so generally that is used from from where you are hailing it means from which place you belong right and h a l e healthy her father looks hail and hearty hail and hearty means that her father looks very healthy he hails from he hails from firozpur city that means that that person belongs to the firozpur city that place is the place of the birth of the person so here we have used this word hail h a i l right next one is heal and heal h e a l to make healthy someone to grow sound theek hai heal jaise ghav ko bharne ke liye hum use word karte hain Heal, right? Healing हो रहा है या नहीं हो रहा है right? That means whether the person is improving or not, right? Heal at double L, that is hinder part of the feet. Hinder part of the feet, पैर के जो पीछे वाली जो होते हैं उसे क्या कहते हैं heel जिसको हम हिंदी में कहते हैं ad, right? That is heel, right? The ointment, the ointment will your wound quickly. Whenever we talk about your wound, wound means that we are we are talking about the healing process, right? will heal your wound quickly the heel of my shoe has become loose that here we use the word heel h w e l right the heel of my shoe has become loose next one is insight and insight insight i n s i g s t perception or intuition or understanding right when we talk about insight that deals with the perception or understanding next one is insight i n c i t e to urge on right or to stimulate to action Okay, Mahatma Gandhi was a man of deep insight. Mahatma Gandhi was a man of deep insight, right? Means he was a man of deep intuition or perception. Some anti-social elements always try to incite. Some anti-social element always try to incite to stimulate communal rights in the country, right? So here we have we are going to use the word incite. I n c i t e. that deals with to stimulate to action right to 
एग्रीवेट समथिंग टू इनसाइट समथिंग राइट तो इनसाइट एंड इनसाइट लेटर एंड लेटर वी ऑल नो हैव दिस वर्ड द लेटर दैट इज अ कम्युनिकेशन इन राइटिंग और प्रिंटिंग एड्रेस टू ए पर्सन किसी को पत्र जो लिखा जाता है दैट इज लेटर लेटर एल ए टी आर ए कंपेरेटिवली ऑफ लेट लेटर ऑन मीन्स आफ्टर वर्ड्स राइट यू कैन सी मी लेटर ऑन मीन्स आफ्टर दैट यू कैन सी मी आफ्टर सम टाइम यू कैन सी मी लेटर ऑन राइट शी हैज रिसीव्ड ए लेटर फ्रॉम हिस फ्रॉम हर सन राइट दैट इज द लेटर एल ई डबल टी ई आर नेक्स्ट वन इज लूज एंड लूज राइट लूज एंड लूज लूज मीन्स टू डिप्राइव ऑफ टू सफर लॉस और जनरली दैट वर्ड इज यूज फॉर लूजिंग समथिंग लूजिंग अ मैच ए पेन पेंसिल राइट टू सफर लॉस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट लूज एल डब्ल्यू एस सी नोट टाइट मोरली लैक्स राइट तो दैट इज नोट टाइट दैट इज हट टू बी लूज यू शुड नोट लूज दिस ब्यूटिफुल पेन राइट she is in the habit of wearing loose clothes she is in the habit of wearing loose clothes means clothes which are not tight right that is said to be loose okay next one is medal and medal when we talk about medal medal is something a metal worked in the form of a coin given as an award right so generally when we have this word medal that basically is used for award right next one is medal m e d t l e that to interfere medal means to interfere uh he has won a gold medal he has won a gold medal in the asian games right uh, you should not medal m e d d l e you should not medal in her personal affair right so what we can say that we have two words here one is medal and second one is medal this medal means to interfere in some uh, persons right so we can say that you should not medal in her personal affair the next one is minor and minor right You know about this minor M I N O R means underage person or who is below 18 year year of age that is said to be minor, right? And minor M I N E R one who works in mine, right? That person is said to be minor one who works in mine, right? So here we can say that two were killed in explosion in the coal mine. When we talk about mine, it means two minor. Means the person who were working in the mines they are said to be minor. So here we can say that two minor were killed. in an explosion in a coal mine her son is still a minor m i n o r so that is used for minor her son is still a minor right next one is obvious and oblivious when we talk about obvious that is evident that is clear right so we can say that thing is uh, that that thing has to be happen that's clear means uh, where we can say something that is clear that is obvious right oblivious means unmindful or unaware it is quite obvious that she is not at fault right so it's quite clear that obvious it's quite clear that she is not at fault right and she is quite of the bad habits of her son means she does not know about anything about the bad habits of the son so we can say she is quite unaware and here we may take it as she is quite oblivious she is quite oblivious of the bad habit of her son right next is principal and principal both words you generally use in your uh, day to day life principal p a l that deals with head of the school right principal that is fundamental truth or law that is said to be principal mr s c sagal is the principal p r i n c i p a l principal of our college right and we must follow good principles we must follow good principles in our life right so here we use this word principle p r i n c i p l e right principles quite quite and quit quite q u i t e completely right and quite still calm jise hum shant kehte hain quite keep quiet quit quit means to leave something or to abandon something right so what we are having here we are having the three words here quite quite q u i e t right and quit to leave something or to abandon something his behavior is quite good his behavior is quite good right she is a quiet lady she is a quiet lady by nature she is a quiet lady by nature right uh, the quit india movement quit india to leave india movement right 
that is uh, was started by Mahatma Gandhi in 1942. Right here we have three words: quite, quite, and quit. Right. So Q U I T E that deals with the completely. Q U I E T that deals with to still or to calm. Right. Or quit means to leave. Right, right, and right. The right deals with correct. This right deals with religious ceremony. and right is to put down in words to write something you are absolutely right so here we use this word right r i g s t the priest is performing the religious rites r i t e s right she will write a letter w r i t e although while speaking the pronunciation of all three same right but when we write it according to the situation their spelling is different as well as uh, the where we have to use it that is also different so this is end to our first session of the homonyms i hope you enjoyed it uh, the words that we have taken in this they are not that much are difficult because we are taking these sessions uh, for ssc and banking because we are going a series of sessions so in the last sessions we have the very complicated words here thank you very much you may send your feedback at my email id legalbuddy@gmail.com or you may connect me on my facebook my facebook is dinesh miglani uh, my whatsapp number 0921551435 i expect from you to share my videos on your facebook wall as well as with your friends so that they will also be benefited by this thank you very much